Hello, this is Mark Wilson from Glensound, here to show you a new feature on Glensound Controller version 3.3.3 that will enable you to remote control the Divine Dante AES67 PoE loudspeaker. Um, so if we open Glensound Controller, we will see we have one Divine here available, and there is our Divine uh, available for remote control. You see the four input channels here, four inputs to a Divine loudspeaker and we can see the metering, um, but we can also see metering of the mixes because we have three mixes available on the Divine. We can see the mix of inputs one and two, the mix of three and four, and the mix of all channels one, two, three, and four, which can all be available for monitoring on the loudspeaker. At the moment, uh, we just have the four input channels set, and if we select them, it, this will just select between those four inputs on the Divine. The three mixes are currently disabled and we currently have the speaker turned down, but you see that we turn it up, you might be able to hear it a bit in the background, uh, that is the speaker playing. If you go into the settings of each of the input channels, we get some extra functions. You can see here we have a trim control, allowing us to adjust the input gain for each channel separately. Uh, we also have a delay. A separate delay is available for each input up to 40 milliseconds. We can set separately per channel an input filter, which is actually a, a voice optimized filter to give you more presence for any voice material. And we can disable the channel. So this means on the remote and also directly on the speaker themselves itself, you do not have access to that channel now. We can only just flip flop between the available channels. Um, if you look at the mixes here, you can see this is where you would enable or disable the mixes for monitoring and they would um, join into the flip-flopping. Um, and you can also go to the output tab and on the output, uh, as well as being able to adjust the uh, gain of the loudspeaker remotely, you can set a minimum level. Uh, so if you want to stop the user from turning it down completely, so that they can always hear something. You can set the minimum level there as indicated. You can set a maximum level um, if you want to limit the uh, maximum volume of the speaker. And for any low material coming in, you can set an overall volume boost for all of the inputs. So that's the main screen that you would see when you start. Uh, the other interesting screen for configuration is the speaker settings. Uh, this is where we set the priority. Uh, you've probably heard of the Divine's priority. It has three interrupts uh, for priority settings. And quite simply here, you just set which channel has priority one, which channel has priority two, etc. What that means, if I'd set channel two as priority one, any audio on channel two will interrupt whatever's playing um, at uh, this minimum level. Um, that's set and at the dim the background audio will go to the dim level that you set here you can have it just dim or you can have it um, you set that there three priority levels so if this was in a theatre dressing room for example you can set priority one to be um, for input two which would be the stage manager announcing they're listening on input one to the um, the show program um, and when uh, there is a stage manager announcement, it will interrupt the show so they can hear what's going. And they could have a second priority that might be, for example, a fire alarm input that would interrupt as well. Obviously, that would be uh, important. So you have this inbuilt priority system you can control remotely on Glen Controller now. Uh, you can set the metering mode if you want the LEDs on the front to act as a single output bar graph, or they can act as colors so that each input is a separate um, multicolor LED for itself. You can put a password on the rear screen to stop people tampering with the settings on the unit itself. Um, this is right and left, the R's and L's, so that's right, right, left is the password to open the screen on the back at the moment. The brightness of the rear screen, the dark mode dims all the lights on the front of the unit for any dark areas uh, it's used in. We can disable the front buttons completely so they can't select any of the um, alternate inputs. And we can select the, uh, disable the pot on the front so they can't adjust the volume on the unit itself. You can only adjust it remotely 
using the Glen Controller app. Here we can set the lineup level, uh, 18 to 24. Um, this is your EQ setting. We have some settings that are based on a more traditional um, audio that people would expect from uh, compact confidence monitors. Or for us, the uh, normal sound is uh, optimized that we feel is the best uh, performance for our divine speaker. You can put a low frequency cut on and you can set a power save. So that is our divine intelligent audio monitor for Dante and AES67 audio systems. Uh, please see more information on our website at www.glensound.com.